Hi guys, welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. This is a follow-on from our basic compositing. What we're going to look at today is just how to create a very basic rain layer. So what I'm going to do first is create a new layer at the top of the stack. Shift and F5, fill with black. Then I'm going to right click, convert to smart object, filter, noise, add noise. I'll give this a, a default setting of 100% Gaussian monochromatic. Filter, blur, motion blur. Um, keep this simple again, 100. Direction, it's up to you, it's the direction you want the rain to look as if it's coming from. So, if we say around about 75 is, is good for me. Change the blend mode to screen. I'm also going to add a levels adjustment. I'm going to attach this levels adjustment to our layer. And I'm going to bring the white point in, the black point in. I'm going to push our midtones quite a way out. about there looks good. Our rain layer, we can now right click, rasterize, and we're going to control T, and we're going to deal with this peculiar pattern near the edge of the picture. Uh, it's just a trait of the filter, it's not an awful lot you can do right, but you just need to drag it off so that odd patterns off the picture. Now we're going to create a layer mask. Foreground colour to black. Nice soft brush. And we're going to reduce the effect of this in certain places. I'm going to turn it around about 30%. Make sure you select on the layer mask. And I'm going to run over the sky. Let's get a bit round here. So much there. Take it off a bit more. Let's zoom in. I want the bulk of the effect. So we kind of gone from there. So we're getting some way. Now the other thing we're doing, I'm going to select back on the actual noise layer. And it's a little bit sharp, so we're going to go filter blur, Gaussian blur, two pixels. Now this is just a very basic rain layer. Uh, mostly there are more intricate ways to create your rain. We can create multiple layers and run the rain in slightly different directions at slightly different drop sizes to give it um, overall a bit more realistic feel. But this is just an extension to the basic compositing, so only looking at a very basic way of putting rain in. You may well go back into this guy, so we go back onto this layer mask. And lessen the effect again. Just a bit. The other thing we can do, we can double click on the layer, go into layer styles, go to the blend if, and I'm going to press my alt key, click on the bottom to separate these two tabs. And what we're going to do is we can change the blend if points. So you can see if we go all the way up here, it doesn't blend. You're basically picking the, the level at, or the point of where you wish it to blend. So these areas that are a little bit brighter are showing the rain a bit more than where the darker areas are. Um, but again, this is, is totally up to you. Um, if you don't like this effect, you don't have to use it. But it's just another another tool for your kit that you can use to uh, change the way the ray blends with the layers below. I hope you find this useful. Till the next time, bye for now.